three, two, one, and looks like we are recording. So we're just gonna try this, just like kind of like improvise. It's <laughs> it's a kind of like a security awareness, just off the cuff. What would you do? How would you do it? One of the easiest ways to get around it. I have my little helper here, my guest. This is Sophia, my hacker in training here, and I'll just start it off with Hacker High School we're on Lesson 1, being a hacker under the feature head handles section, and since you guys don't like to read, I guess I'll just do the little reading for you, and then I'll let you give the brief introduction on where I'm going with this, and we'll see if we can wrap it up. So, feature head handles, what's the handle all about? You know what handle is? What's the handle? No, just don't, not, not, not what we're talking about, what you think the handle is, because we haven't went over this one yet. What do you think the handle is? When it comes to names, if I say, what's your handle, man? What do you think that is? A name. A name, yeah. So a handle is a name, but a handle is not a real name, a handle is a fake name. So what's a handle all about? From the earliest days, way back when, all this first began and hackers first started. A handle is a made up name that a hacker uses online and when he does his little tricks and research and uh, fun type of things. This was mostly for fun because hackers in the early days were mostly kids. But you didn't know that, did you? Hackers in the early days were mostly kids. But later, this game of playing someone else became a tool that hackers could use to protect themselves by allowing them to be anonymous online. Thinking back, just while I have you here, do you remember what I told you that one time you came to me and you were in a group chat and you were being talked to rude and they were being disrespectful and it hurt your feelings? Do you remember my solution to that? What did I tell you you should do? Create a sock account. A sock account. So. That's what we're gonna look at. So along with creating handles, also you can create what is called a SOC account. I won't go too in depth of what it is, but just to keep it just on a layman's term, how I helped her out here. So we'll go over here to the new scene and when someone is talking smack to you and being rude, what you can do is take your real self out of it and you can tell that cyber bully to do what? Ready? One, two, three. Sock in. Well, I guess I can tell her thank you while she's still on camera doing antics. So, the sock thing, since you're here, put a sock in it, right? So, tell the bully put a sock in it. What do you mean? A sock is effectively a fake account. I got this here so you can look this up. I got this from the Cyber Mentor in his Practical Network Penetration Testing course. It's in the OSINT section. I'll leave links to it in the blog post. You can look all that up and, and get up to speed on that. But again, a sock is a fake account that you can create. And instead of having the bully talk to your real self, so where you get all hurt and feelings hurt because they're talking to you, the bully would effectively be talking to a fake account. Like for instance, if I wanted to be a little boy, let's say the guy that you see on the screen here, check this out. Are you ready for this? So. What do we know about this guy? Can you tell him? He is fake. He's fake. What do you mean by that? Um, but it's not a real person. And can you prove it? No. But you can. Because if you go to this person does not exist, remember, this person does not exist dot com, you can go find you, for instance, let's say you want to be this handsome little kid here as your sock. You can uh, that's, that's going to be your face. And if you don't like him, you could just hit refresh, and guess what? The computer's going. But you don't want to be an old man, because he would be creepy showing up in you guys' group. <laughs> <laughs> you guys would be messing. I would have scared them. I well, would have scared Yeah, them. you can do that, right? You can create him and act like he's your dad or your uncle, and he can come. No, I, I mean, would have scared them. You can scare him, but you video that. there was a part when we put the creepy old man, and you said that you want to create him, and I said, no, you can scare your. Friends. We didn't switch scenes, but anyway, here's a creepy old man, which I'm glad we did because along with that, I was telling you, you can pick a person, let's see, let's say for instance, let's see if we get our little girl back, oh, can't do him, 
can't do him either. Hit F in the tap. The red F up top. Magic. There we go. So, for instance, like I said, her name was Kim. You could create the picture of the little girl. We had a different one, but we didn't switch scenes. My bad, sorry. Kim could be her name. Kim Fisher. That's your picture. Create a profile. And now the bully, again, is no longer talking to you. The bully would be talking to your sock puppet. I will leave links and everything on how to get this done more intricately. And, yeah, because she wants to know how to create a <laughs>